Well, Rick Scott said he did not agree with the Polk County Sheriff's Office Sentinel program, which will arm teachers at private colleges. But the governor also said he will leave the decision up to each school district. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at deputizing teachers and allowing them to have concealed weapons on campus. We sent News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky to Polk County to see if this is getting results. Southeastern University right now is the only college campus in all of Florida that allows faculty to carry guns. Now these are volunteers that have been highly trained and they often blend in with the students, faculty and staff here on campus. We feel prepared. Chris Owen is one of those deputized volunteers. He and the other Sentinels carry concealed weapons and are placed in strategic locations just in case a gunman makes his way onto campus or into a classroom. Have you guys been faced with anything even close to that? No, uh, thank God we have not. We hope that we never are faced with that, but we also want to believe that we're prepared for it if it ever happens. More than 7,000 students attend this private Christian college, and the university's president says he does feel the Sentinel program is getting results. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the greatest result is we haven't had to engage it. We haven't had an active shooter come on campus, and, uh, and hopefully that will never happen, but we are ready. Each member of the Sentinel program has to undergo a criminal background check, a drug test, and a psychological evaluation. They are also given 132 hours of training. That's 25% more than what is needed by an average law enforcement officer for certification. Tell me how you feel about having Sentinels on campus. As a student, I feel extremely safe having them here. Nathaniel Jordan is a graduating senior and says the Sentinels provide an extra layer of security for everyone on campus campus and works in tandem with the Polk County deputies and cameras stationed both inside and outside the campus grounds. For those who think we're just giving a gun to a teacher, wrong. We're giving a gun to a very experienced, trained professional to keep your children safe. Right now there are eight Sentinels here on campus, but we are told there are plans to possibly double that number as more volunteers continue to express their interest. Reporting here in Lakeland, Adriana Ivashinsky, News 6. By the way, just this week, another university, Weber International University, partnered with the Polk County Sheriff's Office to start a Sentinel program there. We have all the details at clickorlando.com.